Welcome to How to Make the Perfect Rap Vocal. My name is Travis Hudgens. I'm an audio engineer, also the CEO of So Sick Records. Um, I'm making these videos because when I first started out in the audio industry, I uh, had a hard time, you know, maneuvering and figuring out my way. So I'm going to try to make this uh, video so everybody can follow along. This is for beginners also, as well as somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, some of the things I got in this video I'm going to show you how to do is three easy steps here to making the perfect rap vocal. Um, we're going to be using equalization followed by compression and number three is time-based effects. Now there's a lot of plugins and a lot of different stuff that you can use to make the perfect rap vocal. I mean, um, everybody's got different DAWs. Some are using Logic, some are using Pro Tools, some are using Reason, Fruity Loops. Um, studio One was my first studio, and uh, the way that I feel and the way that it is that I learned in school, because I have my associates in audio engineering, is that it doesn't matter what DAW you have, they all do the same thing. What matters is how you use them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a technique to make the perfect rap vocal. And this isn't even just a rap vocal. This is a vocal for, for anything, right? I mean, a lot of it's going to come down to preference, how much, uh, how much echo, how much delay, what sounds good to your ears. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what it's all about, what sounds good. You know, there's no cookie cutter way. I've met a lot of rappers, a lot of audio engineers, a lot of producers, and a lot of genres who have a lot of presets. So well, what's that? that? That's my preset equalization for so-and-so's voice. And, and I think to myself, you know, my opinion on that is, is that's not the way it goes. Every song is different. Every sound is different. You got to use your ears. That's what music's about. You know, you can't just use uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Bob's uh, vocal that sounded good on one song one time. You can't use that on every single one of Jimmy Bob's songs because it's not going to sound the same on every single song. So you, you got to kind of play around with it. You can learn great. You know, that's a great thing to use for a, a starting bass. You know, hey, I know that I know that. Uh, Jimmy needs some, you know, mid-range boost, or I know, know Jimmy needs this or needs that, so I'm going to use this preset that I got set up for him, and I'm going to go from there. But, you know, as far as trying to use the same plug-in on every single time, on every single song, I mean, everybody tries it. Everyone's got their, I got my favorites. I got my favorite plug-ins where I'm like, this one's really dope. It sounds really good on a lot of songs. I'm going to start there, but I always end up changing something. And so, um, I don't want to fill this video with a lot of flack and a lot of BS, and so I'm going to get straight to the point. So um, I'm using Pro Tools 10. I'm going to create a blank session. And what I'm just going to basically do is show you guys how to use it, you, how to do it using your stock plugins. That way everybody got, you know, I don't got something that you ain't got. Well, what I do is I go use my fancy schmancy plugin that you ain't got and you got to go buy the, the video is going to be useless to you. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, do it with the stock plugins. That way everyone's got a chance. So I'm going to create a blank session here. Um, we're going to call it, uh, audio video vocal, open it up here. Okay. Yeah. And this should be, uh, this should be a really good starting, starting place, you know, in, in not even, you know, at first it's going to be some beginner stuff for some of you guys that's been out there before. And if you're new at this and, and you're just kind of learning your way around, I learned a lot off of YouTube. I learned a lot in school about what sound waves do, about why they do them, the physics of them, you know, how far a bass wave travels, how to battle it with, uh, with diffusers and bass traps, and how to build a studio, and, and the, the Fletcher Munson hearing continuum about how our ears perceive different frequencies and what that means. But when it comes down to actual putting it down and doing it in application, I learned a lot off YouTube. So for you beginners, you know, don't feel ashamed. You got to start somewhere, man. And this is a great place to start. And then for you guys who are looking for some more tips and hits on how to make your stuff hot, stick around because towards the end of this video, you're going to see some stuff that's going to make it make you happy. You're going to learn learn a few things. And um, I mean, I don't know everything, but I know a lot. Right. And there's something you could teach me. There's something I could teach you. So um, we're just going to get started. So I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to create a couple tracks here three mono audio tracks here in my Pro Tools 10. These are going to be our vocal tracks. And then I'm going to drag us in a beat because that's what I, uh, 
that's what I, you know, focus on it and do a lot with is, uh, is rap and hip hop. So I'm gonna open up one of these beats here and just drag the first one I see over and maybe it's a funky, crazy beat, but that's cool. We'll get down with it. So we're going to drag this into our session. Storm clouds. Never heard it before. We'll check it out. So there's that. Now, if you guys like my video and um, you're following along good, you guys can always go to www.sosickrecords.com. That's S-O-S-I-K records.com. The link will be in the description. I'll have more videos on mixing tips, mastering. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff. You know, my credentials, I've just come off a mini tour. I've done shows with artists like Mitchie Slick, DJ Unk, um, Andre Nicotina, King Little G, you know, I've done a lot of acts for a lot of people, and uh, I'm going to stick with it. So here's our instrumental right here. Don't know if you hear that. There's that. All right, so I'm going to turn my mic on, and I'm just going to record us a couple bars, a little 16 for you guys. So here we go. Throw on my headphones. You guys can follow along with this. Yeah. Uh-huh, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Uh-huh. Check it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuckin' with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. All you like a topical, put haters in the hospital. Chop you into pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Floss you like a pot of gold, I'ma stay shining. Fuck the platinum rap, bitches, I'ma spit diamonds. Haters wanna hate on me, thinking that they hurting me. I'ma have you 9-11 code, red emergency. Never gon' deter a G, I show them in my vernon. To be. I told y'all motherfuckers I stay fresher than detergent B. Love the paper, certainly. Never love it, no bitch. Gotta keep my neck froze, my wrist rock the no tick. Gotta get the dope, boy. I choke coach your whole click. Never gonna stop me. I represent the so sick. Hopefully, that didn't blow out your eardrums. So, there's that. I'm not gonna get too picky on. You know, was it a great take? Was it a this? What is that? Because this is all about mixing and creating that sound that you want. So here we are. I got this track. Let's check it out. I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute the beat so we can hear the track alone. Hey, what's up? Uh-huh. Check it. Yo. Uh-huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuckin' with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. Oh, you like a topical, put haters in the hospital. Chop you into pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Floss you like a pot of gold, I'ma stay shining. Fuck the platinum rap, bitches, I'ma spit down. All right, so there's our take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop this so I can easily refer back to it. I'm gonna open up my mix window. I'm gonna go to my track, which is audio one, and I like to name these as I go, because if you don't name them, and as the sessions go, you know, once you get more and more into this audio, I got 40, 50 track sessions sometimes. So, I'm gonna name this verse one. And we're good. So, first thing I'm gonna do is EQ. Now, a lot of people do compression before EQ, EQ after. I like to do EQ first. What I learned in school is that let's get rid of the shit we don't want, and then we'll compress it. So let's get rid of all the stuff we don't want, and then we'll add the compression and, and bring out the sound that we do want. Let's get rid of all the stuff that's crap and keep the good stuff and then go from there. So with my EQ, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open up a standard seven-channel EQ right here now the first thing I like to do is I like to turn this up right here to about 24 DB octaves that's the range on what's this gonna roll off at you see as I adjust this cue it gets 
you know, more gradual and more steep. I like to cut it all the way over. And I like to just roll off the very bottom end up to about 30 hertz. So what that's going to do is you won't even be able to hear this area here. This area that's in gray that you're cutting off, you won't even be able to hear it with your ears. But there's frequencies and perceptions to making music clean that you will be able to hear. When the bass is thumping, everything's going up, there's like a sense. It's almost like some frequencies just give you a feeling, right? And when you cut off and roll off these low-end frequencies, what it does is it makes more room for the bass to thump on your rap beat or whatever song you got, your guitar, your bass, your drum. It allows it to come through crisper because in these regions here, these are where your low frequencies live. This is where your nice, deep, deep, deep bass likes to live. So let's clean up the song and put every frequency in its own space because you only got so many frequencies to the human hearing. So let's move this out of the way and create our own space for just our bass, just our drum kits, just our low instruments to come through. And, l and let's move our vocal out of the way. So I like to roll off the bottom here. So let's, uh, like I said, you won't be able to hear it. You'll see right now. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something hardly your Now I'll bypass it so it's not affecting it. Look, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Really, really subtle if you pay attention. Hard to hear, but it's there, trust me. Everything counts. 15, 20 different tricks like this, it's going to make you a lot cleaner music. A lot more professional sounding, a lot better. So that's what we're going to do there. All right, we're going to roll that off. Look, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. On you like a topical, put haters in the hospital. Chop you into pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Flossy like a pot of gold. I'm a so on a few of my words, flossy like a pot of gold. There's a little bit of sibilance, a little Hard to hear, but if you listen to it, like I said, 20, 30 of these tricks, 10, 15 of these tricks, your music's going to be a lot clean, a lot cleaner. So what I'm going to teach you to do is create a de -esser, a manual de -esser. This is how we do this. You're going to go over here in your high pass section. You're going to change this from a shelving filter to a peaking filter by clicking this little button here. If you have a different DAW, like I said, you're just going to find out how to do it. you got to find out how to do it, but it's on every DAW. This is a basic EQ. Say, okay, then we're going to change our Q to 10, the, the sharpest peak. Boost it up as high as we can get. See, so what that's doing is it's boosting our frequencies up. So what we're going to do, now we boosted this up. Obviously, we're not going to leave it like this, but we're going to search around back and forth within these high frequencies to find whatever sound creates that s -s 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 on some of my S's, my F's. You know, my, my sharp words. So, so let's do that. Look, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. All you like a topical, but haters. It's right there. Sis, 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 sis. You can hear it. Sis, sis, sis. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to take the gain down and I'm going to drop it under. Boom. I'm not going to go too far down. I'm going to go about 3 dB, 3, 4 dB. Just to, you don't want to take all my highs out like this, just a little bit like that. Boom. What that's going to do is very subtle, but once again, it's going to take out that So if I have four or five vocals in my verse with some backups and some dubs and some ad libs and all of them got the Next thing, and you know, then I got an instrumental that got strings or violins or trumpets. Next thing you know, I got a song that's got a lot of ks, 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 and I can't control it, right? And then when I do control it, I have to crush it with the compressor or crush it with the limiter at the end or remastering, and it still sounds like crap. So I cleaned that up. That's what I did. All right, so that's that. That's all I'm going to do on this first vocal. I like my sound. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something Check it with the beat. improbable. I'm a spit damage. Haters wanna hate on me, 
thinking that they hurting me. I'ma have you 9 11 code red emergency. Never go to Turbo G. I show them where my burner be. I told you I'm All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to add a little bit of compression to it. I'm going to compress that beat. Like I said, I got some other plugins and some other cool stuff that will be in some later videos. So you guys stay tuned if you want some more advanced stuff in this. But like I also said, I'm about to show you some tips and tricks around this next take that's going to help everybody's game. Whether you've been doing this for 10 years, 5 years, this video is how to make the perfect rap vocal and I will not disappoint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit it with an average compressor. It's the compressor, the stock compressor, the bone dry compressor. I want everybody to be able to have access to this stuff. Dyn, th Dyn 3 compressor, here it is. Just want to make sure, this gives me an opportunity to boost it up. I know I had to turn the beat down a little bit because it's a soft vocal. So what I'm going to do is be able to boost it up here and make sure there's no clipping. Uh, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something highly improbable. So one thing I want to say, you see right here in this attenuation meter, Okay, different audio engineers have different opinions on this, but the way it is is that you do not want this meter constantly going because what it's doing is sucking the life out of your vocal. You know, there's some audio engineers, and I actually lean more towards their side. They don't even use compressors because it's kind of a cheat stage. It's like, hey, dude, set up your mic preamp right in the first place. You know, spit through a quality mic and... Uh, and you get all the life, right? All the life is in that in that sound wave right there. All the breathing, all the ah, all the sensuation, all the all the energy, all the emotion is in there. When you add a compressor, what it does is it starts to kill some of that, attenuate it, and take it away. So if you are going to use a compressor, you know I use them on a lot of stuff. Um, make sure that this meteor right here, how much it's compressing and, and, and knocking out of your sound waves, because what this is doing every time this hits down. For those of you that don't know. It's killing the top of these voice waves. It's killing your, it's called your ceiling. It's killing the top of your vocal. And so, um, I just like to have this going uh, occasionally and no more than three to, no more than six dB, but occasionally and like to keep it in the three range. So that's what I do. So let me set this up. Uh. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. Oh, you like a topical, put haters in the hot. You see that? How that's going? It's going not all the time. I mean, it's going a lot, but not all the time attenuation. Uh, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click. And no more than six, right? Now, for a rap vocal, you're going to want a fast attack. Super fast attack. Look, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the... Attack is how fast is the compressor hits your stuff. How fast it grabs it. And with fast vocals, fast delivery... Uh, any type of aggressive music with rap we got where, where, where words are what it is and wordplay your vocals are coming out fast they're rhyming you need that thing to hit quick release medium fast it depends on the song release is all about the feel of the song uh, I said it's live on the scene bitches every way possible fuck with my click is something highly improbable next to impossible you best to check your opticals told your motherfuckers I stay fresh now that I got it kind of sounding good where I want I'm gonna add the beat back in and see if I want to boost it up through the gain stage at all uh, I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuck with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. Hold you like a topical when haters in the hospital. Chop you with the pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Pulse you like a pot of gold, I'ma stay shining. Fuck the platinum rap, bitches, I'ma spit diamonds. Haters wanna hate on me, thinking that they hurting me. I'ma have you 9-11 cold red emergency. Boom. First verse done, little bit of EQ, little bit of compression, not sucking the life out of it. What we're going to do now is going to be, here's the tips and tricks of it, right? Now you got a lot of different things you could do right here. A lot of people do different stuff. Some of them will duplicate this track, pan this one out all the way to the left, pan this one out, audio right. Let me give you an example of what I'm saying here. They'll grab this track. They'll duplicate it like that. They'll pan this one out, the first track here, all the way to the left through the pan, right? Pan. They can pan it all the way to the left. 
and then they'll pan this one out, the second track, boom, all the way to the right. What this is going to do is it's going to create a wider stereo field. So instead of your speakers coming out, boom, 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 right in your ears, they're going to widen, literally widen in the room by about 12 feet. You'll hear the whole difference, right? That's one way, right? If you're going for a big sound, right? To fill the whole hall. It's a really cool technique. Check it out, right? For this song, I'm going to do something a little different just because I want to show a little bit different technique for... um. You know, for, for everybody out there, something that's a little more widely used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to do another recording. Boom. Because this next layer here is what I call my excite track. This is my this is my my main vocal right here. It You know? Bitches every way possible. It, it's good. It's in there. I got some swag. I got some feeling. I got some emotion. But it's also a little safe, right? I didn't want to go all crazy and try to do every voice effect I can because I wanted something that's for sure and concrete. From there, I can jazz it up. And that's what this is about. This next track will jazz this up. Get out your pens and papers because this is what's going to make you have the perfect rap vocal. This is going to show show you where it's at. This is going to separate your vocal from everybody else's. This is, this is not beginner stuff. This is advanced stuff. Here it is. I'm going to spit it again. I'm going to set the mic down. That way you guys don't get deafed out if you got deafed out in the first place. Boom, boom, boom. Get it ready to go. All right, let me record this. So I'll be, re re be right back, y'all. All right. Yeah, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? This that so sick records. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your optical. Told y'all motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. On you like a topical, put haters in the hospital. Chop you into pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Flossy like a pot of gold, then I'ma stay shining. Fuck the platinum rap, bitches, I'ma spit diamonds. Haters wanna hate on me, thinking that you hurting me. I'ma have you 9-11 cold red emergency. Never gonna deter a G, I show them in my verse. To be. I told y'all motherfuckers I stay fresh and then the church to be Love the paper certainly, never love a no bitch Gotta keep my neck froze, my wrist rocked and no tick Gotta get the dope boy, I choke out your whole click Never gonna stop me, I represent the so sick And I'm back, right? So there we go Track two, I can play it a little more, you know, unsafe I can fly off the handle a little bit, put a little more swag on it uh, Because this is gonna be my uh, this is gonna be my uh, this is my jazz so I, I I went like that so what we're gonna do is unarm it we're gonna solo it out and listen to it you know what it is this that so sick I don't know how good you can hear this uh, yeah uh I said it's live on the scene bitches every way possible Fucking with my click is something highly improbable next to impossible your best to check your optical so you see a little bit more swag a little bit more oomph let me get right to it so I ain't taking up all y'all's day what I'm going to do is open another plug-in right here, the same one, EQ7 band. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one. Roll off the lows. Right? Now let's listen to it as I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? This, that, so sick records. Uh-huh, yo. And I'm actually going to roll off more of the low, and I'm going to boost the highs. I'm going to boost a lot of the highs and I'm going to roll off a lot of the lows because I want this to be a high track, a clean track, a loud track. This, when we do this here, this blue, when we boost the highs like this, this is what we call brilliance. This is going to allow this track to bust up through the bottom of the other one and add some spice to it, <coughs> some brilliance, some sparkle, some shine. It's going to make it glisten. It's like sprinkling dew on it, right? So here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? This that so sick records. Uh huh, yo. Uh. I said it's live on the scene, bitches, every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check it out. There it is. Now, by itself, 
sounds too much, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what it is? This, that's. You get the point. So what I'm going to do now, open back up my mix window. I got both my tracks right here. Here's my main. And here's my verse two. I'm going to call this verse one sparkle. There it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo them both out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's up? You know what? Uh-huh, check it. So sick yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yo. Look, uh. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fuckin' with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I said... So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm literally... I'm gonna leave this right where it is, right? I'm gonna double check this track with the beat to make sure I have the volume right where I want. I'll mute this brilliant track. I like it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to undo this one and I'm going to add some I'm going to bring this one up underneath this one until it's bringing out some sparkle in this main track. Yeah, what's up? Uh-huh. Check it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly you're probable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. Are you like a topical? Put haters in the hospital. Chop you into pieces, feeding fishes by the nautical. Toss you like a pot of gold. I'ma stay shining. Fuck the platinum. Just like that. Exactly like that. I'm gonna drag the same compressor over and duplicate it on this track. That way they both got the same feel. Because sometimes, you know, this, this track doesn't even really need compression. It's down low. Uh, I was spitting from a distance from the mic because it's not my main vocal. But the thing is, if you add certain plugins to tracks, it'll create a different sound. So just to keep them unified and glued together, I'm going to drag this compressor over, drop it on this track, just in case it has some sort of uh, rustic feel to it or sound change. I want to keep it the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up? You know what it is? Uh-huh. Got so sick records. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look. Uh. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my clickers. One more double check of where it's at. I think I need to turn down a touch. Uh -huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Bring the beat back. Right on. All right, now what we're going to do is add a time based effect, right? Which is reverb and uh, delay, right? We, we, uh, we utilize auxins to make that happen, right? You never want to put a reverb or a delay right on the same track because you won't have control over it. You'll have too many things out of control. So what you do is create a new aux track for y'all that are familiar, for your beginners. I'm just kind of explaining what you got to do. And we're going to insert on the aux track a delay. Or actually, we're going to go reverb. I like to use our verb. Bus it here. Bus one. Create a send. Bus one. Solo this delay. We just want to put a little bit on it, right? Uh, uh huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly. That's too big of a sound, so I'm going to change it down to a room. Uh, uh huh. Look. I said it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to check your opticals. Told your motherfuckers I stay fresher than the tropicals. Are you like a topical? Put haters in the house. Cross reference it with my beat. It sounds good by itself. Let's see how see make sure it fits in with the instrumental. I've all the scene, bitches every way possible. Fucking with my click is something highly improbable. Next to impossible, you best to I love it. I want to turn it down just a touch though. Just a touch. Yeah. 
Mmm, it's grimy, especially for just some 16. I didn't put no effort. I didn't write that shit right now. I, you know, just pick the beat. Now, I love that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this bus over. This bus right here is this bus here. How much reverb I'm sending to this main vocal track. And I'm going to drag this over and put the identical reverb on this track. I want it to all be the same. Start messing with this, adding too much echo to one, not putting compression on one. Stuff's going to start to get separated. The verse is going to start getting complicated. Keep it simple. Boom. Now both these tracks got the same reverb. Let's check it out. It's live on the scene, bitches every way possible Local with my click is something high like you're probable Next to impossible, you best to check your optical Go drop motherfuckers, I stay fresher than the tropicals Like it, but a little too wet, right? Added that other one in, it's a little too wet Turn down my reverb a little more Turn down my reverb on this one, keep them the same, right? It's live on the scene, bitches every way possible Local with my click is something high like you're probable Like it a lot better right there it's live on the scene, bitches every way possible. Local with my click is something high that you're probable. That's it for this episode. So just to do a recap, what we did, first track, EQ'd it, got rid of the crap we didn't want, hit it with a little bit of a de -esser to battle some of the stuffs. And these tips aren't, you know, just for making this rap vocal. You'll experience that in other parts of recording choruses, uh, little hums or little you know singing melodies and parts of your hooks and, and intros and whatever this is a way to battle sibilance right and so recorded the first track eq'd it got rid of the crap we didn't want compressed it not too much to take the life out of it right only three to six db maximum and not attenuating at all times right got it sounding real good cross-checked it with the beat, listen to it by itself, listen to it with the beat, get a good sound, get a good feel, adjust the EQ a little bit, adjust the compressor a little bit, fast attack for rap songs, medium release, uh, boosted it up a little bit if we needed to, cool, called it good, went to the next track, got a fresh vocal, put a little more swag on it because this one's not primary so it could be a little bit more crazy but that's great because that's going to add life and flavor to your music, went, Opened up the same EQ, rolled it off a lot, boosted it with the brilliance, get it high, right? Get it way up there on the high end, tucked it underneath, you know, because it's a lot quieter, tucked it underneath our primary vocal to add that shine, that sparkle. Dragged over the same compressor to that track. That way nothing changes in case this was like a rustic feel, you know, 1957 vintage tube compressor plug-in that has a weird crackle and warmth to it. You want to make sure everything's the same. Drag that over to this track so these two stay glued together. Opened up an aux track. Picked a reverb. Adjusted the reverb how we wanted. The hall was too big, so we dropped it down to a room. I changed the size of it because it was a really big room, right? Sound like you wrap it in the damn hospital. Changed it to a nice little warm bedroom. Changed my time a little bit to make the sound feel right. Opened up my send. Adjusted the level. I always start off high. I always animate it. Oh, that's way too much echo, but pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Feels right. Okay, feels right. Dragged it over to the next one so they both are glued together with the same effect. Checked it with the beat, right? Oh, then it sounded a little too wet, so went back to my bus. Opened it up again, dragged it down a little bit, then made sure I went to this one because this one was high too. It was a copy of this one, remember? Dragged that one down a little bit, got it right where I want it. We're ready to move forward. Maybe do another track and do some talking in the background, some ad libs, ha ha, whatever, you know, let's go, whatever, right? Or even some punches live on the scene every way possible. If you really want to make it a little bit more aggressive, right? If you were to do that, boom, use this next track. Do the same thing. Use the same compressor. Use the same EQ. Keep it all uniform with these. That way you get the same sound. This is Mr. Mac, Travis Hudgens. Tune into my website, www.sosickrecords.com. That's not S I C K, that's S O S I K records.com. www.sosickrecords.com. Um, for more videos, more tips, more tricks, I do desktop mastering. I do all my own stuff in-house. 
So um, we can make it happen, man. Uh, check out our website. We got shows. We got merch on there. Check out my Facebook. Um, I'm on facebook.com slash so sick records. Follow along. If you like these videos, comment. Tell me what you want to know. I know a lot, man. So uh, this is my uh, first video getting it out there. I'm going to make another one right after this. So let's uh, keep it going, man, and keep it bumping. And, and also, I want to say any genre, right? I've done everything. R rock band, country, you need help. Uh, EQ and mic or guitars, instruments, how to mic a piano. I've done uh, for the, Glenn, the Glenn Johns technique on drum kits. I know all that stuff. So everybody out there making music, hit me up. I got you. Travis Hudgens, So Sick Records. I'm out. I said it's live on the scene. Bitches every way possible. Fuckin' with my kick or something high, then you're probable.